Hey, welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Mike, and today we're gonna talk about how to hand all of your faith over to God. Have you ever felt that your heart can only trust God halfway? Let's say you hear unexpected and scary news. You have this gut feeling that God is bigger than everything and he can handle it all because you know he created it all. However, in this moment, you also start to second guess it. The what ifs begin to flood your mind. What if God doesn't show up and work this out? What if God is too busy to take care of this problem? What if it all crashes down and I collapse big time? What if the funds run dry? What if my loved one passes away from the sickness they're fighting? What if, what if, what if? And in this moment, our problem solving kicks into high gear. You and I, we convince ourselves that we need to solve this problem in front of us. Just in case God doesn't do it right or he forgets to show up on time. You have this backup plan in your pocket that says, hey, I'll take care of it. There's a big problem with going into problem solving mode. We hear all of our lives about how good it is to have a backup plan, that it's good to prepare and you need to work for the things you want in life. There's some truth to that. It's really wise to do your best, to give 100% effort. That's the life God wants us to live. The catch is stopping when you need to give things over to God. We're looking at James chapter one. We're gonna read verses five through eight, and today I wanna focus on verse seven. James one, five through eight, it says this. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Verse seven, do not waver for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything they do. Did you catch what happens when you split your faith between God and the world or you or anything else? Verse 7 tells us that these people who split their faith up, they shouldn't expect to receive anything from God. You see, if you take problems in your own hands and you choose not to trust God, God says, expect to receive nothing from Him. Nothing means nothing. You might feel this is extreme for God to do uh, nothing on your behalf, but if you only trust him a little bit or if you trust him halfway, God says that's not enough. He wants all of your trust. God wants you to release your situations to him fully. Of course, do your best. Of course, give 100%, but then trust him with the rest. James cautions us to reconsider how much or how little faith and trust we hand over to the Lord. Today, I wanna challenge you to think about your faith. Do you give it all to God or do you have halfway faith? Be mindful of of how much of your life and your desired outcome you're willing to hand over to God and let him control. I want to leave you with some good news and some bad news from James chapter one today. The good news is this, God will never get tired of your request. God will never get weary of your endless dependence on him. The bad news is this, is that if you're going to split your faith, if you're gonna choose not to put 100% confidence in him, that your expectations of him showing up should decrease. Don't lean on your own understanding, your own capabilities to plan, your own strength today. Pass it over to God. Have faith that will endure all of the hardships that could ever come your way.